It is really turning springtime here in Oklahoma. Grass is getting green all around. The trees are budding out. The red buds are going. Dogwood's not quite, but it's getting very, very close. But in a lot of parts of the country, it's still wintertime. Uh, you know, they're having two, three foot of snow, five foot of snow. The lakes are still frozen over. Where is a great place to go fishing? I know some of you might think Florida or North Georgia or South Alabama or somewhere. But what's a great place to go fishing this time of the year and just absolutely catch a ton of fish? Good morning, guys and girls. March 21, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. We've got... Uh, we got about 25,000 people on this channel, absolutely fantastic people. And this is probably the most important channel on YouTube. Many people think it is, I believe it is. And we're just not talking because it will absolutely change your life for the better. You start out each day with a scripture from the Word of God. You start out with a devotion built around fishing and you have a fishing tip also. So you're gonna become a better fisherman, but most importantly, you're gonna become a better person. You're gonna have a closer relationship with God things in your life will improve. They will get better. That's just what God's all about. So uh, if you're not subscribed to the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube, hit that subscribe button right now. If you are subscribed, share it, share it, share it. The channel's growing. The channel's growing pretty well, actually. And uh, we want to keep that thing growing because it's really changing people's lives. Changing people's lives. Today, uh, March 21, we're reading from the book of Luke. Luke was the good doctor. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, one of the Gospels. And Luke 440 says he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. He laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And some of you may know what we're going through with my beautiful wife, Chris. Uh, she had a stroke uh, almost two years ago now, and uh, she still can't walk, but she's getting very close to walking. God is healing Chris day by day by day. Could he miraculously heal her and let her walk this afternoon? Absolutely. Absolutely. But God is doing this in his time for a purpose. I don't know what that purpose is. I don't question him. I just know that God is healing Chris. He laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. That means he healed them all. That means he healed them all. Here's what I wrote about that. We hold a kid's fishing year, derby or fishing day every year on the grounds of Expressway Auto Mall of America up in Mount Vernon, Indiana. They've got a little pond there right on the the grounds of the car dealerships, and I get all of my trucks from Expressway. We bought a lot of vehicles from them up there. Uh, I run a Ram truck. They handle Chevrolet and Ford, and I think about 15 or 16 other brands also. We hold a kids' fishing day up there. We have hundreds of kids show up. The kids catch mostly bluegill and catfish out of that pond. Plus, they'll catch an occasional bass every now and then, and turtles. They catch a few turtles. Of the few hundred kids, of the few hundred kids, only a very few win their age class and the big trophies that go with it. But get this, all receive a trophy just for being there. Every one of them receives a trophy just for being there. And I know a lot of people are kind of against participation trophies. I'm not 100% for them myself, but I'm telling you, they didn't win them, they didn't deserve them, but God, can I tell you, they are super excited to get those trophies. And they're just little bitty trophies. They're not great big giant trophies. Big trophies goes to the people that win. So if you're going to give away participation trophies, make sure that the winners get great big trophies. So the ones that get little big trophies can say, I'd like to win that big trophy next year. And they try a lot harder. They try a lot harder. In today's verse, Jesus was at Capernaum in Galilee at Peter's house. That evening, people started showing up with six folks. They had heard he went to Peter's house, and they had heard he was there, and they started showing up with six folks. Here's the deal. Jesus healed them all. Jesus healed them all. He didn't ask who had faith. He didn't ask who believed in him. He didn't ask if any of them could pay for that healing. He showed them God's love. He showed them God's mercy. Oh, and he showed them God's grace. He showed them God's grace. When God does a healing or something miraculous in you or your family or your business or your career, he's showing you his grace. He's showing you his grace. And God's healing power, that's the amazing thing, still available. It's still available right now, right now for you and me. It's healing Chris right now. His healing power is healing my beautiful wife. Plus, just like at Peter's house, that healing is a free gift from God. A free gift from God. Oh, I think about this scripture right here every day. 
when it says he healed them all. It says that in several different scriptures. He healed them all. He healed them all. That means that God has the power to heal every single person. And you know, irrespective of what may go wrong with us physically in our life, we'll be perfect in heaven. He will heal all who go to heaven. Be no blind people. Be no deaf people. Be no people that can't talk, can't walk. Oh my gosh, we'll all be perfect. We'll all be perfect. Here's our tip for today. We talked about where can you go right now? Twitter's still hanging on. You know, it's, it's a great place to go, even if you are having some springtime like we're having here right now. But if you're up north, a little further up north, and you're still suffering from the winter, South Louisiana. That's right. South Louisiana offers excellent winter fishing for reds, for largemouth, for speckled trout, and flounder. I mean, really, really good fishing down in South Louisiana. We go down there and fish, and it's just absolutely a blast. The weather's usually good, um, and you catch fish in the wintertime down there. Really, really good. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>